Here we have the clavis or key to the magic of Solomon. This is a fabulous book. It was um, authored by Joseph Peterson. So he provides an extensive commentary. Um, so this book is based from eight diaries or eight separate books that belong to Ebenezer Sibley. Ebenezer Sibley was uh, quite an interesting character and a very important figure in the 18th century in regards to the um, occult in around that uh, period of time. In Britain and Europe, he was a physician, but he had a very, very uh, deep interest in astrology and all things occult. So he amassed uh, quite a few uh, private um, uh, diaries and uh, books on the subject and they eventually went into the hands or, or came into the hands of Frederick Hockley. Now Frederick Hockley as you know was a very important figure in Victorian, uh, the Victorian magical revival in Britain uh, mainly because he had a massive library, a very important collection of works and Ebenezer Sibley's diaries, um, you know, were, were part of that. Now, Frederick Hockley was also very uh, important in regards to the Golden Dawn because it is believed that a lot of his uh, works, in fact, influenced the formation and the, um, the creation of uh, what eventuated and became known as the um, Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. The Golden Dawn back then, S. L. Mathers um, and Westcott, uh, relying uh, quite heavily on Hockley's um, collection of works. So let's have a look at this fabulous um, edition here. It was first published, I believe, in 2009 and reprinted in 2012. I just got my hands on this recently. It used to retail for we can see here for about $95, which is quite a hefty price to pay, but it is well worth it. Um, right now, it retails for $55 if you buy it off um, uh, the Amazon site. So that's what I did. And like I mentioned, it contains eight key works. The main work is the clavis or the key to unlock the mysteries of the magic of Rabbi Solomon. Okay, that's why it's called the clavis or key to the magic of Solomon. The second book is the mysterious ring. The third one, an experiment of Berto. Uh, the fourth one, again, an uh, evocation, an experiment of Agaris. The fifth one, an experiment of Vasago. The sixth is about the spirit of Bielfaros. The seventh is all about the wheel of wisdom. And the eighth is a complete book of magical science. So let's have a look. As we open it up, you can see it's printed on uh, semi-gloss paper, heavy stock. It has a very elaborate introduction. Got the key players, uh, Ebenezer Sibley himself. The contents um, uh, gives an overview of each of the eight books. Hockley and his involvement, of course, Sibley and his involvement in all of this. And it goes on uh, right through to the acknowledgements. Now let's have a look. Uh, the book itself, the way I've got the camera set up, I'm going to have to do it. Uh, you may not be able to see this very well, but I'll do my best. Just flicking through it, you can see these are photocopies or facsimiles of the original diary in full color. It's quite legible. Um, it's it's in um, uh, cursive writing, as you can see, but it is quite legible. Sibley's original notes, beautifully laid out. Uh, lots of talismans are diagrammed here, illustrated. The Grand Pentacle of Solomon. For example, you can see here, beautifully done. It's got all the orations, it's all the conjurations, the explanations, um, lots of 
talismans are pictorially illustrated like like this very well done this one here is um, uh, pentacle for honor and riches both of them are okay so I'm just flicking through showing you um, what is featured in this book in full color everything is done in full color all the talismans are here as you can see it's quite a beautiful presentation and this goes on throughout the eight books the eight separate books that are presented herein the mysteries of the ring for example is the other book right and then we get into the evocations, the experiment of the spirit Berto, or the, um, I should say, the invocations, the preparations, everything that happened, all the experiments with Vasago, etc. This here is the, um, the Wheel of Wisdom. You can see it here. It's fold out because it's bigger than the uh, I'm not sure what format this book is in it's not a4 it's uh, it's kind of square like um, but it's very nicely presented here everything is very legible and if that wasn't good enough then in modern typescript here it's typed up the translation well, it's not really a translation but the notes redone here in uh, modern typescript also some uh, amendments on the talismans and corrections are to be found here so quite easy to follow um, you know, this is a self-explanatory manual it's got everything here that you uh, need to know to perform a lot of the invocations and a lot of the experiments and a lot of the usages of uh, talismanic magic for the very first time all laid out here beautifully in this volume now the book itself is how many pages it's over 400 yes yeah all told it's uh, well including the index it's about 428 430 pages so definitely uh, if you're into Solomonic magic if you're into uh, talismans grimoires uh, Victorian style Victorian influenced uh, magic then pick up a copy because this is a real uh, gem to behold um, you know it's a collector's item but it's also very practical if you're a practical magician you can learn a lot from this volume um, you know, I recommend it without any hesitation whatsoever. So, if you're interested, it is available right now from Amazon.com. Instead of $95, you can pick it up for a heavily discounted price of $55. If you're thinking, well, that's, that's still expensive. Yes, it is. But it is not as expensive as it used to be. And it is a beautiful addition so if you can afford it i recommend you get it while it's still in print okay so that was all for today a very quick concise uh, review i just wanted to give you a little bit more of a pictorial view of it instead of just seeing my face talking to you like before because this book is or this tome is a full color uh, rendition of ebenezer sibley's eight diaries or eight books and it is something that I'm very happy that I acquired. So uh, once again, if you're interested, you know where to get it. So have a great day. Wishing you a great evening if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. And I look forward to seeing you all here again next week. Thank you and good night.